Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys are all having a fantastic day. We got a lot to talk about when it comes to Madden 25. Let's kick us off with two separate make rights being rolled out as we speak. The first one being for the Daniel Jones Angry Runs item. Now, if you guys played on Wednesday when Daniel Jones and Angry Runs went live, he was not in packs for about two hours. If you guys bought that $40 special offer, I believe it's still in the store right now. You are getting that pack re-rolled back onto your account. I've seen countless tweets of you guys pulling absolute heat out of that pack. So good for you. I will say though, if you purchased any other packs, it doesn't look like you're getting those rolled out as a make right. For me, I opened up a bunch of Team of the Week packs. I didn't get those back. It kind of makes sense. What are the odds you're actually pulling Daniel Jones out of a team of the week pack. I don't even know if it's possible. Kind of blows though, but it makes sense. The other make right has to do with fear. Fellas, if you tried to play Madden this morning, you literally couldn't. The game was gated. It was cut off. And that was because for whatever reason, EA screwed up the fear conversion. It's rolling out as we speak. I believe the fear conversion is for every fear you have. So one fear equals six coins. I have no idea when that rollout is going to be finalized. I also don't know if I even have mine. I had such little fear left over on my account. I don't really care. But one fear equals six coins, kind of a brutal conversion. I was hoping maybe for every one fear you get 10 coins. I was also hoping it would be training. At the end of the day, the fear conversion, it's rolling out. But let's talk about everything that led up to that. And that was this morning. I don't know what happened over at EA, but when they tried to convert the fear to coins, their game broke. We talked about it a lot in my morning video, so I don't want to dive too deep into it. But everything that had to do with fear basically turned into one single coin. You could quick sell any most fear champion for one coin. Hopefully you guys didn't do that. If you did do that, you don't deserve your cards back. That's dumb. But the other, I guess, beneficial thing from this glitch, you could upgrade any of the 85 overall most feared upgradable players with fear for one coin. Now, I have no idea what it's going to cost to actually do this now. It actually balanced itself out. That makes sense. You guys can see right here in order to max out these cards, it's going to cost you about 52,000 coins in general. But this morning, you could do it for six coins. Again, no idea how EA physically coded that into the game, but they somehow did it. Because of their just giant screw up the game was gated from like 10 45 until 1 10 and then they immediately gated it right as it came back at like 1 15 until about 2 15 so because of that the unstoppable promo did get delayed which if you guys watched my morning video we freaking called it so shout out me as we take a look in here though most feared is gone from the game i believe the solo challenges are still in here that would make sense solo challenges are still in here but the house rules, the mutt drafts, everything else regarding most feared has been pulled. The completion sets, if you guys did those completion sets, you know, those sets we've talked about on the channel for a minute, and I was like, I don't think they're going to be worth your time. The promo champion pack you got, I believe, was just one of these four champions. Wow, that is bad. Hopefully, if you did the completion sets, you made some coins off it, or you had another reason to do it, because one of these 91 overall champions, they're all good, don't get it twisted, but it's not worth that time. I'm going to assume this right here is my make right for my fear. I got 500 coins, shout out me. I'm pretty sure that was everything most feared related. If we think of something else, you boys know how we are in these videos. We like to jump around, we'll jump back to it. But now on to the brand new Unstoppable promo, which apparently you can't get into the house rules. Or I just hit the wrong mode. You guys didn't see that. Now taking a look here at the brand new Unstoppable Drives. Really cool concept. It will be away on November 20th. The same day season three is ending. This Unstoppable promo will be two parts. And this is the last, I guess, promo we got with season three. Now the rewards for this house rules, so interesting. At least get the 10 wins. These unstoppable energy badges are what you're going to need to upgrade one of your welcome item players to a maxed 91 overall champion. Tomorrow, we'll talk about the best unstoppable players and we'll talk about the better champions of the two, but at least get the 10 wins. After 10 wins, these rewards are a joke. 30 wins, you get two 88 plus overall B&Ds. And at 40 wins, guess what you get? An 83 plus overall unstoppable player pack. Yes, it's auctionable, but it's an 83 plus. House rules used to mean something. You used to want to grind to 40 wins. 40 wins is a lot of wins. 
I don't know why. I don't know who over down there in EA thought that, hey, let's pull the free champion. Let's make it an 83 plus because that is what they want. That is not what we want. We also don't want these. I don't care for an 85 plus or 88 plus overall B and D. Make it an 88 plus, give us two of those, but don't make it B and D. I like B and D cards. I think it's a cool concept, but that should be the 20 win reward. This reward right, right here should be 88 plus non B and D. And then this one right here should be a champion. It's not that hard EA. Why don't you guys do this right? I hate the fact that you're ruining house rules. This used to mean something and now it doesn't. I think that's everything bad I have to say today. All right, moving on over though to more unstoppable stuff. We did get a brand new field pass for this promo and actually do have some kind of cool things in here. Very typical brand new promo field pass things, challenges, sets, stat make sure you guys have both your welcome item players in your lineup commander legend marshawn Lattimore. but right here we get to talk about commander legend marshawn Lattimore and calvin ridley i want you guys to think back to mutt masters all the way back in madden 20 madden 21 and how you actually upgraded those players you had to do specific things with those players in your lineups well that is essentially what this is the login player objectives are doing certain things with these players in your lineup. And fellas, I love this concept. If you get these objectives done, you'll get those energy cells to actually upgrade that specific player. This is one of my favorite concepts in Madden. It honestly reminds me of Madden Mobile 16. Shout out Madden. I, okay. I talk about Madden Mobile 16 a lot on this page. It was my first ever like real Madden game. But in order to get that OBJ, you had to do a bunch of things like this, like passing yards, and it all led up to a big objective. You get, you know, the check mark next to the big objective. You get the smaller reward and so on. I need EA to do more things like this. I love this concept. Every single tier, you're not getting a reward, but you're earning rewards towards a bigger reward, which is the, those energy cells. I think if they made the energy cells and something else here, like maybe a free champion, another free champion, uh, like, come on, EA, let's, let's give us a free BND champion by getting done with all of these. I think that could be make a really good concept even better will it happen this time absolutely not but we do have months left of madden 25 i hope they continue with this i guess progression system here but then just improve on it knowing ea's track record they're not going to improve on anything but hopefully they bring this back and then instead of like only getting upgrade tokens at the very end you get a free champion for getting all of these done in like two weeks this is a lot of things to get done by giving us that additional reward hopefully next time it'll just make it even more worth the grind will they do it i have no idea but i got hope in ea i love when ea tries to do new things or also bring back old concepts that did actually work i'm a big fan of that now something that i don't think they've ever done reward us with promo xp for watching mcs you guys can see right there tune into the mcs unstoppable broadcast on november 13th at 6 p.m eastern time we've been talking about that a lot on the channel but if you actually do get the player for 150 minutes of your time watching mcs you'll get the player as well as 500 unstoppable xp i want to show you guys what 500 unstoppable xp is about equal to 1000 offensive yards five sacks seven not even seven fumbles so it's kind of a punch you in the face like why did you even give this to us but it's here if you want it for me personally this is not another reason to watch mcs the mcs player is so good to begin with but this is like all right ea thanks for trying now the rewards in the field pass make absolutely no sense they haven't for a while the best reward is not at the end of the field pass. You would think typically maxing out your field pass gives you the best possible thing. It, it just doesn't. At the very end, level 16, you get an 83 or 85. At level 12, you get two 88 plus overall B and D champions. Not champions, heroes, but still. Why is level 12? I mean, I'm not sitting here complaining about it, but it just doesn't make sense. But then why at the end of your field pass do we go back to what we were at Give us a free champion. I don't know what, like, who would be mad at a free B and D 90 overall champion? The happier people are with your game, the more likely they are to spend money. It just doesn't make sense why you won't just give us a free champion, but you will go back to a pack that we can earn, what, level four, level five in the field pass. 
I don't know what EA is doing with this field pass. At the end of the day, it's a cool system. I like the field pass system, especially for the specific promos when they're like two weeks or so, but I just don't understand the progression system they're using right here. Typically, the more you play, the better you get, not like you peak and then you go back down to the very beginning. I, I don't understand that. Now, before we take a look at any of the brand new unstoppable cards, we did have, I guess we do have some store updates to take a look at. Let's kick it off though with my one coin pack this animation right here, this is a top tier animation. One of my favorites in the game. As we pull Jayla Jones, thank you for the 100 training. The big update today came in the form of the season ticket store. You guys can see right here, we do have the 91 overall upgrade token. Now, my biggest concern right now, they didn't decrease any prices in here. For season two, whenever we saw the brand new upgrade token, we saw a decrease on the rest of the packs. That just is not the case right here. 90 overalls were still selling for this yesterday. We log in today, we get the 91 overall upgrade tokens. They're sitting pretty right here. This completely changes whether or not you should spend your season tokens now. I'm going to wait until Mutt Leaks leaks the season 4 promo before I make any decisions. Hopefully they do it. If not, I do have the premium field pass, so I will get a few 90 and 91 overall upgrade tokens. And so I might just be holding on to my season tickets. I don't love any of these players that much. I will say Kyle Vandenbosch looks really, really good, especially with the way defense alignment are dropping. We're getting some top tier ones, and then besides that, not much. Another thing that just is sitting here... Why do we have season two card art on my season three season ticket store? We got past the ping promo. What are we doing, EA? I wouldn't open any of these as well. Now, there is still hope for this ticket store to drop in price. I am recording this part at 6 p.m. on Thursday. So, Friday morning, Friday afternoon, maybe they fix this, maybe they don't. I would hold off from spending any season tickets until at least tomorrow. And if I do spend any season tickets, I'll make sure to let you guys know. As a reminder, your season tickets will transfer over one to one from season three into season four. So my 16K in season three tickets will be 16K in season four tickets. And the way we're progressing through the overalls this year, every two to three weeks, we're seeing a brand new overall increase. So about week one into season four, I do expect to see 92 overalls. And by that point, do I want to have spent my tokens on 91s? We'll talk about it later, but right now I'm kind of holding off unless we see a discount in the store. That is not all today. We do get a pack odds increase. Anytime we get an overall increase, pack odds do get better. Also, nothing new with the season special offers. I'm not ignoring them. EA just hasn't added anything new, and I don't know if they will. Pack odds increase, though. Pro Ace Fantasy Packs, you guys can see right here. Talked about this, maybe not last night, but the night before. The floor of these packs has been increased. Yesterday, the 83 slot was 82s. The 87 slot was 86s. I mean, it only makes sense we're getting higher overall cards. The lower elites are now 83s. The higher elites are now 91s. The hero tiers were all 88s. It makes sense. This is a good thing for the Madden economy. Don't expect to be pulling champions left and right, but you will be pulling some old tier champions, so like some 87s, some 88s. I expect to see the breakout market absolutely crash. And that is why tomorrow, and I guess probably Saturday and Sunday, we'll spend a lot of time on the market when we don't have any real promos dropping because the market is going to crash and it's going to crash heavy. And when I mean crash heavy, I mean over time. By like two weeks or so, the market is going to probably floor out. By the end of season three, more specifically, expect all the 88 overall cards to be selling for dirt cheap. So get excited, you no money spenters. Last thing we got today in the store, we got a new mystery pack. Basically, the only thing we got new in this pack, we have most feared packs in here, but they also increased the price to 1200 training. We do have this 83 plus overall unstoppable reroll. I'm going to stay away from it. I recommend you guys do the same thing. Rerolls haven't been good in like three years. If they're ever good again, I'll let you guys know, but they haven't been good in a minute. I don't think I've said this yet. I have sheets, pillows, and blankets. They're in the wash. So if you guys are watching this video or haven't watched my videos before and be like, why does this dude just have a mattress topper? I had to wash my sheets. I'm sorry. But update videos, they still need to happen. So if my mom and dad are watching this video right now, I do wash my sheets. But taking a look at the unstoppable players, more specifically, what is said in the bottom right. You guys can see in the description, Mutt25, Unstoppable, Limited Time, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This item's unstoppable X-Factor activation requirements will increase on November 20th. November 20th being the end of season three or the end of the unstoppable promo. I'll be honest with you guys, I have not played any Mutt today. I had class, I got to record videos. So I have no idea how broken these unstoppable X-Factors are, but they are getting a nerf in two weeks. Now with that said, I don't think that's going to affect the actual cards too much. I think every card we got today, minus Dak Prescott, but even Dak Prescott looks really good. They look really good with or without glowing X-Factors. TJ Watt, it's TJ Watt. He's going to play good. Jameer Gibbs is a very fast and shifty running back. Micah McFadden is a fast user. Cole Komet is a he might be the best tight end in the game. Dak Prescott, it's Dak Prescott. And then Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates also looks really good. With or without a glowing X Factor, I like each and every single one of these cards. So in two weeks, I don't think that's going to change for me. With that all said, though, we do have to talk about promos coming next week. More specifically, 90 overall reduxes. I want you guys to think here for a minute. All right. We saw the overall increase. What, I guess, how many weeks later before we saw the 89 overall reduxes? One week. So next Saturday, so a week from this Saturday, we should be seeing 90 overall reduxes. What does that mean for you? If you have any 90 overall limited time player, sell them off. Now, taking a look at the 90 overall limited times, that would be Reggie White, Ray Nitschke, Warren Sapp, finally, Steve Hutchinson. They're already starting to go down, but you're, there is still time to capitalize on this. Sell off these cards right now. They're going to continue to go down. I promise you guys we're about a week and we'll call it a half. We'll round down away from seeing this redux and you just want to get rid of them now. I promise you there are more coins to be made in doing this than holding on to them and hoping for a market spike sell them off now fellas please that was everything i had written down today we will do a kind of accelerated market talk anytime we get content i don't want to bore you guys with a 25 minute market talk but let's dive into a talk starting off with jameer gibbs and tj watt honestly cheaper than expected jameer gibbs is the best running back in the game i do wonder what he will do to the rest of the running back market tj watt's cool i don't care for outside linebackers but if you want tj watt He'll get cheaper. He'll also get more expensive once he's out of packs on November 9th. So I'd wait until tomorrow to buy. Cool card though. Fred Warner has gone down. Thank God. Kamara is finally a buy. If you guys want Alvin Kamara, now would be the time to go pick him up. Kirby Joseph, he's going to go down as soon as we see a strong safety drop. Yeah, Jesse Bates is a free safety. Good card, but he's going to get cheaper. As for the brand new Unstoppable Players, a card that I'm going to pick up once, I guess right now, Cole Komet. Six foot six, 91 speed, 460,000 coins. May seem like a premium, but not for this card. Six foot six, high ball meta, 91 speed for, in my opinion, the best tight end in the game. Kittle is cool. Cole Komet is taller. Yes, you know, Kittle does have that run blocking, but Komet is six foot six. Now, right now, I was using Dalton Kincaid from the breakout promo. So I was doing an update, and uh, I am very happy with this purchase right here. I will say 460,000 coins is a premium. I typically don't pay that much for a tight end, but this card, this card looks good. I also do really like Jesse Bates. Now he is a little bit too expensive for me to spend on a free safety, especially since I don't need to update my free safety as bad as I did my tight end. It's a really good card though. He has, I believe, shitty hit power. I think that was the one knock on it. Yeah, so 83 hit power, but 91 man, 91 zone, 92 speed, six foot one. I, that's it. That is a pure coverage guy right there. Let's see how the most feared market has affected Bijan down to 700, Tavon Austin, Tariq Wool, and they're all going down. I expect them to continue to drop by how much that is a good conversation. AJ Brown being the most expensive makes no sense to me. Evan Ingram will be by far the cheapest. Tavon Austin could be the cheapest, but I do think Evan Ingram being the third or fourth best tight end in the game, not even like a top tier card considerably, he should be the cheapest. Terrell Suggs will probably stay expensive just because there aren't many Suggs out there. We're going to look at team of the week. AJ Terrell makes sense. He's 766,000 coins. How many Terrells are currently on the market? If you guys don't remember, this was the limited time that had the glitch. There are 12 AJ Terrells on the market. This card dropped two weeks ago. I want to compare this to, I guess, yesterday's limited time. So Cameron Kitchens. How many Cameron Kitchens are on the marketplace right now? 13. I guess that's a terrible example. I guess that, that is a really bad example. I was trying to prove a point that Team of the Week packs are shitty, but I still think it should 
only 13 limited times on a card that dropped yesterday that is still in packs. There are four Mike Gusecki's up. So I guess my point was proven there. AJ Terrell dropped two weeks ago. Yes, he was glitched, but for Mike Gusecki's, the card is in packs. There are more AJ Terrells on a random night at a random time than the limited time who is currently in packs. EA, fix your pack odds. Dante Fowler, Russell Wilson, way too expensive for my liking. Icky Woods is a card I really, really like if you're bred it up and you want a running back. I had to go pick up this card. I do see a world where he drops a little bit, but he also is a running back, and he's not a running back. He's a limited time. I know he's a running back. You guys should know that too. He's a limited time, so how much cheaper does he get because of Jameer Gibbs? I think he could drop a little bit, but I don't see him getting significantly cheaper. I think his champion version will drop in price a lot. Andrew Luck is a buy. Dion is a sell. Ray Lewis blows. Leroy Butler sucks. Drew Bledsoe sucks. DK Metcalf is a buy if you want him, but I just think we're going to see better receivers, and Randy Moss is also better than DK Metcalf, and he's half the price, so it's up for up for debate, but uh, I would stay away. Vita Vea and Jordan Mason will be getting reduxed, which is all good things. I like Vita Vea's card, just not at that price. Leo Chanel was the most feared gauntlet player. I wonder if they let him play out for the end of season three, and then we see a new gauntlet champion for season four, or this, I guess, next coming week, we see a brand new gauntlet player. I'm not sure how they're going to handle that. It would make sense for them just to leave Chanel, but I also could very well see them bring in a brand new champion. We've had four gauntlet champions now, just off the top of my head. We've got Dalvin, we had the corner, we had Leo Chanel, and then the very first one. So it's not really timed up with seasons. It's more timed up with like whatever EA wants to do. So I could see it. I don't know though. Most feared champions, if you guys want these cards, every single one of them is a buy. Now, should you pick up these cards? That is completely up to you. If you're kind of having a, a debate, like, should I pick up this card? Should I not pick up this card? Drop it down in the comment section. I'm happy to help. But right now, if you want any of these 90 overall most feared champions, now is a good time to buy. They will continue to get cheaper, but like, it's going to be like two weeks before they're going to hit rock bottom. Team of the week. JSN, a very good card. He is a little bit too expensive. He does have 92 speed. I like Brian Thomas wherever he is for 299. Same thing with Ladd McConkey. Is, you know, not, plus one speed that much more coins worth than, you know, Brian Thomas? That's up to you. I like the height Brian Thomas has. I would probably just go the Brian Thomas route rather than pick up JSN. But again, if you want JSN, go for it. He is this week's Team of the Week hero, or I guess champion. These are champion cards. Does get that Team of the Week boost as well as a Seahawk boost. Gets him up to 95 speed. But still, Xavier McKinney, that is a buy and a half right there. If you guys need a free safety, a really, really good card. Why is Frankie Luvu still 368,000 coins? I run a Commander's theme team. How many times have I said that this video? But like, why, dude? Can you just drop in freaking price? I want to pick you up. I want to put you on my team, but not for this many coins. Those of you trying to make coins right now, the Frankie Luvu set looks like he is solid to make coins on, though. I mean, taking a look at the Team of the Week 87 overalls, you can pick them up for probably cheaper than what we're looking at right here. And there are coins to be made here. I don't know if he's going to sell for 400k, but like, that looked pretty good. Now, Ricky Williams is a card I do think will get cheaper. Champion, running back. He, why are there only two up right now? What is going on with the market? It's, only, it's 6 p.m. on a Thursday. People are playing mutt. Market's whack right now. But on average, he is selling for 446,000 coins. That's a good pickup right there. George Kittle will also get cheaper. The fact that he isn't the limited time is huge. If this was the LTD, this card would be well over like 1.3, 1.4 mil. But he's a champion, so he is going to be affordable to a lot of people. I don't know how cheap he gets because he is the 49ers, and the 49ers theme team is just one of the best in the games, but it is there if you want it. Again, Sap, Steve Hutchinson, sell them off. They are limited times. All the team builders sell or suck, so sell them. Daniel Jones is interesting. Uh, 400k for a solid quarterback is there if you want it. Joe Mixon is a really good buy. Saquon is a sell. Tyler Algier has 88 speed. The 89 overall reduxes have all gone down a little bit. You guys can see right there. Creed Humphrey, Cameron Cur Curl, Curl, not cool, Curl, 
It's been a long day, fellas. I have class from 4 until 5.30. I come home and my brain is just fried. Today in class, we had to check the quality of potato chips. I don't know why. I, 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 I was like, what are we doing? I had to like go count out every single potato chip in a bag and like see if it like met my quality. I was like, dude, this is a waste of my time. I have an updates video to be filming. He did not care. Gridiron Guardians, they're a buy if you want them, and pretty much any 88 in this game is a buy. And fellas, I think that's where we're going to, you know, wrap us up for the market talk. Just kidding, I'm a liar. I do want to take a quick look, though, at the unstoppable players, and then we'll get on over to Twitter time. These 88 overall heroes are all selling for about 100,000 coins, but usually we have, like, one hero or two hero that's, like, not a top-tier card, but, like, a top-tier budget beast. We just don't have one of those with this batch of 88s. The one I kind of like is Cam Taylor Britt. He's got decent speed, decent excel, good zone, but terrible, not terrible man, but 82 man. It's not great. It is higher than Leroy Butler. But even here at 89 speed, I'm just like, dude, give him 90 at this point. It's Twitter time. If you guys ever need to get in contact with me, at Moshi Madden over on Twitter is probably the best place to do it. I always respond. I love to hear from you guys. Take it a look. Upcoming AKAs, Amonra St. Brown and the Mad Stork Ted Hendricks. We've talked a lot about these cards, about potentially being the last drop of AKAs. Everything is checking the bark box so far about being, you know, that overall increase in everything. We'll have to wait and see until tomorrow, or I guess Monday. I don't know what I'm talking out of my ass right now, fellas. It has been a long day, but AKA leaks. I love them. Here is this week's legend drop. Now, we will, I guess, get the official reveals tomorrow night. But here is Heinz Ward with 91 speed. Are you kidding me, EA? This is my first time looking at these cards, by the way. 91 speed on a 92 overall limited time. They do not want to drop a good legend limited time. They, they actually don't. This is, this is ridiculous. All right, Heinz Ward. Sorry, dude. You do have a season one champion, but your 92 overall LTD legend is not going to be good. Ty Law. What is up with EA and dropping 5'11 legend set piece defensive backs? We got Arenas Williams. We had Jahari Alexander with the Gridiron Guardian promo. Now we have Ty Law. He is 5'11. I'm sure I'm missing somebody else, but can we stop getting short DBs as champions? Please and thank you. 92 speed though, 90 man, and 87 zone is solid, but 5'11, I'm good. I also do want to note look at the ability buckets. They have four ability buckets here on these legends. One, two, three, four. Good things there. Next up, Amon Green, 91 speed, 90 excel, 85 change of direction, 90 truck, and 89 break tackle. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm good. He's a power back though, so I don't expect him to have any crazy speed. How heavy was he? Where's the weight? Where's the weight? Where's the weight? Where's the weight? Come on, can I like work on my scrolling? I'm losing my mind here. Amon Green is 218 pounds as a power back. That's all right. I don't know how I feel about that drop. Another mid drop of Legends. Looks like it's coming up. But fellas, that is everything we got tonight. Again, sorry if it seemed like I was all over the place. I literally was. Operations 413 at the University of Tennessee might be one of the most brain dead classes I have ever taken. If you guys go to this school or you ever go to this school, good luck. The class sucks. But until tomorrow, I'll catch you boys back here. Have a fantastic rest of your night. I love you guys. Peace. Have a good one.